We're working on the second challenge for if, elif, and elf statements. Um, this asks us to write a function called is divisible by, which takes three parameters, num, divisor one, and divisor two. The function should check whether num is divisible by either of the parameters or both and return the following strings. Uh, the number is divisible by divisor one, the number is divisible by divisor two, the number is divisible by divisor one and two, or uh, neither, right? So uh, what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and start off with our function header. It says this is going to be called is divisible. And it said that our parameters were going to be num, divisor one and divisor two. And it said, if it's divided by uh, divisor one, then print the thing. But we have to be careful here in the order in which we check these, right? Um, if I check that it's divisible by the first number and then return something right away, um, I haven't even given it the opportunity to check if it might be divisible by both numbers, right? So logically, the first thing that I need to do, the first check that I need to make is to see if it's actually divisible by both numbers. So let's say if num is uh, evenly divisible, so we're going to always use the modulo if I do that and it's equal to zero and num is also evenly divisible by divisor two, that is the result from modulo division is zero, then I can return and what does it want this string to be? It wants this string to say, And it wants us to use F strings here. So where I have these angle brackets, they will need to be replaced with some curly braces. And now, and just for the sake of good practice in my Python, I'm gonna go ahead and split that line using my backslash. Um, but now, right, I've checked if it is divisible by both. And now from here on out, the order matters a little less, right? Let's go ahead and just say, if it's divisible by the first one, then we'll want to return extra space hanging out in there. It said, want to return this string again an F string, but we're gonna use curly braces for our X strings here instead of um, our, the angle brackets that that came with the, the explanation. And you'll, you'll often see uh, angle brackets as a way uh, in any, in number of different languages just as sort of a convention as like um, your variable here um, or insert your username here right or your directory name here right you, typically when you see those angle brackets that's saying um, there's some unique piece of information there's a piece of information that will be neat, unique to you that you'll want to uh, fill in here right and in this case um, it's going to be our actual divisors. Um, nope, that's what we'll need next. We'll need this one for the actual comparison. Right, and then if it's not divisible by both or either individually, then we can conclude um, that it is not divisible by either. So we can lastly just return that it is not divisible by either really quickly here with some curly braces. Oops, get that back to where it was. Again, I wanna break this line just for the sake of good practice and to keep things uh, visible so everyone can see it 
and typically it's good to leave an extra line at the end of your file. Go ahead and run this, make sure that we're in good shape here. Looks like I've uh, messed up the name. It's looking for is divisible by, I just said is divisible. like it does not look it does not like the tab spacing that I put in there in my string literals when I broke those lines let's see what it does if I don't break those lines this might just be a little uh, issue that has to do uh, with learn itself Uh, and I must have copied and pasted the wrong thing. We want this one to be is divisible by divisor one and two is divisible by divisor one and two, right? So I think my logic was sound here, but I uh, just had some issues in my strings. I've got an extra space there hanging out, right? These string literals, it's going to want an exact match. Um, which I finally come around to, right? So this if elif statement, I have a number of conditions. The order in which I check those conditions is really important. Uh, there's one more challenge on this lesson we'll see over there in the next video.